What is going on guys, it is KR Galaxy, I'm bringing another YouTube video on Call of Duty Ghosts. Today we're going to be playing Cranked on Flooded. And today in this video, I'm going to be using the MTAR with the grip and the muzzle brake. And I'm going to show you guys kind of how to play Cranked. It's actually a pretty effective way. You're going to want to have a very controlled sprint. You do not want to be sprinting around corners. And I'm going to show you a good example here. When you do it right you can start up a pretty good kill streak. As you can see here, I pick up one, then I pick up two, and then I come around this corner here, and I'm gonna reload, I take my time, I pick up three, then I reload again, then I sit down my SATCOM, and I check my surroundings, and then I finally pick up that four. Now, if you guys control your sprints, and do all the right things, and aim your sights on where you're most likely to be attacked from, you're going to have the most success in Call of Duty. See, right there, I pick up another two-piece. But then I get outgunned because when I should have drop-shotted in that situation, I accidentally hit the jump shot. Now, the difference is a jump shot will only work very effectively in Call of Duty Ghost if you do it around corners. Drop shots are the best in open areas because it is really hard to hit a flat object when you're looking on a horizon something like that you guys will probably understand what i'm talking about here this strategy is very good you can use this in all the game types but it works really well in crank because you are so compact it's rushy it's in your face kind of gameplay it's actually my type of gameplay i like to run around i like to be free i like to be all up in your face another thing that you can use with it is also hip fire hip fire is very important if you can combine a hip fire and a drop shot you're going to be very successful on cranked and in call of duty ghost in general because call of duty ghost is all about getting that first shot off it's not like black ops 2 where if you have a good connection you're going to win every single gunfight that's what i like about this game everything is well balanced nothing is really overpowered and if it is they fix it now talking about fixing I don't know if you guys know about this glitch. I don't know exactly what it's called, but I think it's called the uh, thermal bomb glitch or whatever. It's where you have a glitch where you pretty much just have unlimited concussions, and it is the most annoying fucking thing on this planet Earth. Like, oh my god. It absolutely froze my system up. I almost thought I had to take it back to GameStop to get a new one. It scared the living crap out of me. Whoever you are that found out this glitch, fuck you. I hate this glitch. It is awful. Guys, if I catch you doing it, I will call you out on it. I hate it so freaking much. It is awful. Don't ever do it. Ever. Okay, now that I got my daily rant out of the way, I want to know what you guys think about the Call of Duty Championship Finals that happened today. I know my team didn't... They weren't in the finals. Freaking Optic Gaming third place I didn't like it very much but hey they were in the world championship they were been doing bad all year Nate Child had his shots off and everything but he finally did his job the whole team did his job and props to them for going in third place Envious was just a better team but in the finals I really wanted Envious to win but complexity took it and I want you I want to know what you guys think about those Call of Duty Championship finals so just leave a comment in below and I'll get to you guys later and this is KR Galaxy and I will catch you guys in the next video peace Satcom up Lincoln,